Have you noticed how the beginning of almost every great footballer's story is sad and miserable? Luka Modric, for example, witnessed the terrible war in Croatia in the early 1990s. Lionel Messi, on the other hand, barely got a chance to show his immense talent because of poverty if it wasn't for his grandmother, who gave everything so he could train. Well, no story so far seems to come close to that of one of world football's top phenomenons, Victor Osiman. In just two seasons, the Napoli striker has gone from a player who barely attracted the attention of teams and fans in Europe to a star that every top club in the world wants to have in their squad. From his explosive speed and apocalyptic athleticism to his clinical finishing and flair for goals, Osiman's prowess on the pitch has turned heads and sparked a buzz across stadiums. In this video, we'll explore the Nigerian sensation's incredible journey to the Serie A title, dissecting his standout performances, jaw-dropping goals, and the impact he's had on his team. But before we get things started, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification button to stay updated on everything new regarding our favorite Serie A. The Early Days Adversity Born in Lagos, Nigeria in 1998, Victor came out to the world as the last of six children in his family. His surname is Osiman, which means God is good in his native dialect. Unfortunately for him, he lost his mother at a very young age. In an interview for an Italian media outlet, he says, I lost my mom in October. I do not even remember the year. I was small. Three months later, my father lost his job. And given Osiman's large family, he, his father Patrick, and five siblings had a harrowing and miserable life in a small house in the Olusosan area located near Lagos. Thus, even before the age of 18, Osiman's older siblings had to put aside their studies and personal interests to start providing for the family. So did Osiman's eldest brother Andrew, who was the local football club's star. He was instrumental for Victor Osiman's career choice and his quality on the football pitch. The current Napoli ace became interested in football, often going to the stadium and cheering for his brother. And somewhere around then, the love for Didier Drogba was born. And despite Drogba being from Ivory Coast, one of Nigeria's biggest African opponents, Osiman himself has said in the past that he always wanted to emulate and learn from him. However, Victor is not oblivious when it comes to Nigeria's greats of the late 1990s, admitting that apart from Drogba, he also admires JJ Okocha and Nwanku Kanu. But what was key to Victor's development as a footballer? Well, although everyone in the family initially thought that Andrew Osiman would become a football player, that special honor went to Victor. As he matured into adulthood, Andrew was faced with a very difficult decision, that of chasing a professional sports career or of working hard and providing for his family. The beginning of a stellar career. However, Andrew was ambitious enough in his dream and saw in Victor a piece of himself as a little boy. So, he began to support and encourage his little brother until one day Victor Osiman was enrolled into the local Ultimate Strikers Academy. As a matter of fact, Osiman spent most of his career there. He went to the 2015 FIFA U-17 World Cup in Chile as a player of that academy. But not long after, he became a very hot topic in many European teams after his heroics at the tournament. In the city of Santiago, Osiman scored 10 goals in seven matches and was the major reason for Nigeria's final victory. Apart from the World Cup trophy, he also won the Best Goal Scorer and Best Player awards. In January 2016, after being noticed for his performances at the tournament, Osiman committed to a pre-contract with Wolfsburg, stipulating that he would officially join the club in January 2017. Move to Europe, challenges and adaptation. The excited Osiman left for the German giant at the start of 2017 for an estimated fee of 3.5 million euros, but his enthusiasm was humbled very soon after. Guess what? Osiman got injured in one of his first training sessions with his new team, which seemed to confirm the point that bad luck has dogged him for a huge part of his life. Thus, the Nigerian remained off the pitch for around five months, making his debut in mid-May in a league match against Borussia Mönchengladbach. In the 2017-18 season, Osiman expectedly had more chances to make an impact, but the five games he took part in by mid-season in the Bundesliga were extremely insufficient to show what he was capable of. Another negative factor that marked his spell was the constant replacement of coaches at Volkswagen Arena and the lack of good communication with each of them. So, in a year and a half in Wolfsburg, Osiman witnessed more sacked coaches, four, than goals scored by him, zero. Subsequently, already as a Napoli player, Osiman went back in time to his period at Wolfsburg, saying he wasn't able to integrate so quickly into a top-five league team, especially coming from an academy in Nigeria, and this failed him to prove his worth in the German team. He admitted, 
Everything was different. The food, the climate, the language, the way people treated me. Then, it was the turn of the team, which can be defined as the turning point in Osiman's career. Sporting Charleroi, he spent a year at the Belgian club, coming on loan from Wolfsburg. In the 2018-19 season, Osiman left his mark in the Belgian first division, netting 20 goals in 36 games. Charleroi bosses, however, bought him out at the start of the 2019 summer transfer window for 3.5 million euros, but subsequently decided that selling him would be more beneficial to both his development and the club's financial situation. So just about a month later, Osiman became a Lille, who gave 15 million euros for his rights. And if Charleroi can be said to be the turning point club in Osiman's career, then Lille is definitely the team where Victor truly believed he could become a world-class player. And right from the start, it was apparent that he was feeling comfortable, expressing his admiration for the quality that the club offers. Lille is a very good club, which has a quality project in high-class players, and especially in the last years. Great Nigerian players, Peter Odomwinji and Vincent Enema, have also played here as well. Interestingly, he could have been a teammate with one of his biggest rivals in the Italian league right now, Rafael Leao. However, this did not happen because the Portuguese headed to Italy just a few days before Osimhen's arrival. Furthermore, he was given the exact same number that Leao wore before moving to Milan, number 7. In his only season in the French Ligue 1, Osimhen featured in 36 games for Lille, scoring 18 goals and providing 5 assists. He also got his first taste of European football, starting in 5 sixths games for Lille in the Champions League, scoring 2 goals against Chelsea and Valencia. Napoli and Serie A, a star was born. Yes, Osiman definitely lived up to the high expectations in Lille after the underwhelming performances in Germany and Belgium, and then he got his coveted prize for his patience. He was awaited by something much, much bigger than he ever imagined. At the end of August 2020, after extensive negotiations with Napoli, Osiman became the most expensive African player ever. The team from southern Italy paid 70 million euros plus 10 in add-ons making the Nigerian the seventh most expensive player in Serie A history. The 2020-21 first season was a good one for Osimhen, scoring 10 goals in 24 Serie A games, and of course, it didn't go smoothly in terms of injuries. In November, during an Africa Cup of Nations qualifying game, Osimhen suffered one of the toughest injuries in his career, a shoulder sprain that sidelined him for over two months. Speaking of goals and assists, the 2021-22 season was even more successful for Osiman, as he scored 18 goals and added two assists to his account. But the injury nightmare was on the horizon again, as this time Osiman took a horrific hit from Milan Skriniar in a 3-2 loss to Inter at the Giuseppe Meazza. But do you notice one thing? Osiman is not like the ordinary players who return in a weaker form after injuries. Well, the exact opposite happens with Osiman. He seems to channel the negative energy from the injuries onto the pitch, punishing opponents with his instinct in front of goal and magnificent precision in the penalty box. This brings us to the 2022-23 season, which so far remains the most successful of Osiman's career. 39 games in all competitions, 31 goals, 4 assists, a Champions League quarterfinal, and a Serie A title for Napoli for the first time in 33 years when Diego Armando Maradona was part of the club. And in this particular season, injuries seem to have decided to have mercy on him, saying, we're not going to catch you this time, we're letting you show the whole world what you're capable of. Yes, of course, Osiman was out for a few games due to fatigue and minor aches and pains, but those issues could not have been compared to the severe health issues of the previous years. Osiman also formed a great duo with Georgia's Kavicha Kavaratskelia, with many experts even saying that their tandem is far more impressive than the one between Lorenzo Encina and Dries Mertens from a few years ago. This season, Osiman still remains the main danger in front of the opposing team's goals. Unfortunately for Napoli fans, the Calcio title seems an almost impossible task, as the team currently sits 14 points behind first-placed Inter. However, this in turn gives Napoli a chance for a bigger success in the Champions League, where the first stop in the knockout stage is Barcelona. Achievements and honors in Osimhen's career so far. With his great form last season, Osimhen was duly honored with awards and achievements that will forever be remembered by fans, and they are incredibly impressive, especially when we are talking about a player from Africa. In the rankings for football's most prestigious individual award, the Ballon d'Or, Victor Osimhen was voted 8th, becoming the first Nigerian since Nwankwo Kanu in 1999 to be nominated for the prize. 
Apart from that, the Napoli striker scored 26 Serie A goals last season to lead the Partenope to the Scudetto title for the first time in more than three decades. In terms of the award for a best goal scorer, he pipped Lautaro Martinez of Inter Milan and AC Milan's Rafael Leao to clinch the best striker in Serie A. Osimhen was also instrumental for Napoli with his five goals in the UEFA Champions League, helping the Italian outfit reach the quarterfinals of the competition for the very first time. Osimhen's playing style and traits in his game now let's discuss another important topic, Osimhen's playing style and strengths. If you remember in the previous video, we spoke about Lautaro Martinez as one of the best poachers in Serie A. Well, even though Osimhen is far taller than Martinez, he is much more athletic and quick than his inter-rival. Funnily enough, this was being noticed by one of Osimhen's first coaches in Europe, Valerian Ismael at Wolfsburg, who didn't even give him a chance to fully showcase his qualities. At the age of 18, Victor Osimhen already has a large presence in our attack. He is good going forward and for his size, is very fast, were his words back then. Unfortunately, this was the end of today's video. However, we could still continue our discussion in the comment section. Let us know which quality in Osimhen's playing style is your favorite, and do you think he would take a different direction in his career, for example to a club outside of Serie A? There were rumors of him moving to Chelsea and Paris Saint-Germain this summer, but in the end, there wasn't such transfer which was great news for Napoli fans and the president Aurelio De Laurentiis. Now see you in the next video, but until then, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.